Have you spent hours on end trying to collimate and tweak your telescope just to find that you have triangular shaped stars in your images? Likely you have the problem called pinched optics. And I'm going to show you how to fix that in both a Newtonian reflector and a refractor telescope. For my first example, I'm going to be showing you a Newtonian reflector. This is a Mead Lightbridge Mini 130 that's been modified. A lot of the major brands have their optics made by a company known as Senta, and there's some other foreign brands also. And for shipping reasons, they tighten down the mirror cell clips, and that's to protect the mirror from damage as it's being shipped. But in fact, your mirror clips should not be overly tightened. The cell from a mirror is actually flexible, regardless of how heavy or thick it may seem to you. And that's the same reason it needs to acclimatize in cold weather. But these mirror clips aren't designed to hold the mirror down. They're just there to keep it from falling out, believe it or not. It's a misconception to think that they're there to lock the mirror down. What I've got here is a small screwdriver and I'm backing them out until I can slide a credit card underneath of it and then tighten it to the point where it just touches. And that's as tight as it needs to be. Basically, if you were to shake the mirror holding the bottom of the cell, you should be able to hear it jiggling around, which I don't recommend you do that. But as a general rule, there should be about a credit card thickness and space between the clip and the mirror itself. If it's over tightened, it'll pinch down on the mirror and that's what causes that triangular star formation rather than a round sharp star. It'll pull to the edges and that's because there's flexure in the optics as it's pushed down. So if that's something that you're running into and you've spent hours trying to collimate and you still can't get it right, then likely it's, it's pinched optics. Now let's move on to a refractor telescope. So you might get the same problem with your cheaper refractors. And in this case, I'm using the Orion CT80 as an example. When I purchased this, the retaining ring that holds the lenses in place was so tight that I couldn't even get it off by hand. I had to go out and buy a filter wrench just to remove it. And I had to look for one that was rubber so I wouldn't end up cracking it because it's all plastic. But anyway, this holds the lenses in place and should never be overly tightened because that will pinch the optics here also. What you want to do is loosen it without fully removing it and place the scope vertically and shake it until the lenses fall flat on each other and then just turn it down hand tight and that should be enough to lock it into place without pinching it. And like I said, these, a lot of these optics from overseas come this way overly tightened because they survive shipping better that way and it's beneficial to the manufacturer, but it's not beneficial to you when you get it home and you've got triangular stars. So yeah, pinched optics is one of those aberrations that you might confuse for bad collimation or that sort of thing. So I just wanted to share that with everybody and hope that it was helpful. Just so make sure your scope is fully acclimatized, that you put your star in the center of the field of the frame and that way you know that it's it's not just curvature from the lens or coma but anyway wish you nothing but good luck and clear skies thank you